M0 FXB, just uh, doing a video on transmitting APRS messages. So I've just done one, so we'll check here, and it says here Andreas Hi 73. You can see it there. That's the message on APRS FI, and it's via DMR. So what you need to do is uh, go to your self care. So I'm on the Brandmeister, and in your settings, couple of things you need to set up so I'll just show you the code plug so reporting channel that's the important bit so we're, do, we're using APRS 310999 here slot 2 and the, the number's really important we've linked it to reporting channel number 2 here see that number 2 and it's a private call um, up here, manual TX is zero, APRS auto 120, support for roaming on, on, five seconds. Got my location in there. Um, APRS TX tone is off because that's very loud. Call sign here, SSID minus nine, and this is more analog stuff. I've ticked all these, but this is my settings that, that work, yeah? And then I'll just quickly show you the channel as well. So the channel, I've called it APRS. 310999 so I can find it. You do have to select the contact 310999. Now you can use other talk groups. Frequency of my hotspot, digital, low power. And this is the important bit. APRS PTT mode is on and APRS report channel two. Remember we said earlier that it has to be number two. You have to link each channel to the reporting channel and that's the most important bit. And also slot two. I've said slot two in the other bit. So you saw that in color code one. So that's it, that's our um, settings in the code plug. So we're over to Pi Star. we're gonna key the radio. Like so, you should see it come up with a sending digi APRS thing there. So the time now is 12.17, and we'll go to APRS FI. And look, the message has now changed here to Southwest UK 73, and it's 12.17. So if we go back to APRS uh, self-care, change the message again. Yeah, let's go back. How are... How are, I can't, are you M0FXB73? I'll put that as well. We'll save that. Then we'll go back to the radio and we will Pi Star and we will transmit. Like so. You see it TX. You can select for it to TX at the beginning or the end, but anyway, it's transmitted back to APRS FI. And look, how are you, M0FXB73? So we're definitely sending out messages. Um, so in theory, um, we should be receiving messages. And what I'll let you know is if those received messages have, me have messages in the, in the sort of stored data. I've just received a message there on the radio. So we're going to have a quick check and see what the, uh, what's coming through on the radio. And we'll zoom in and, and have a good look. So we'll just look at the uh, receive stuff. So we'll go menu down to APRS. Then we want to go to Digi APRS info. And normally I would select number one, but it's all, it's, I think there's a, a glitch in the code plug. Because if I select delete all is where I get the info. So they need to sort that. So delete all. And then we're going to select now. As more people come in, we can look at more information, but I've only got one here at the moment on that talk group. So we'll select it and look, there's the information. And so you've got the ID, the date, the time, the distance, and the la lang latitude and longitude. But I can't see any messages. It would have been nice to be able to see a message in there, wouldn't it? You can see it on your APRSFI. I can't see it on the radio, although it is receiving APRS. And, I, and it looks to me like my location is quite accurate. So the GPS location looks accurate to me. So 7-3, uh, uh, let me know. See what you think. All the best.